Let's go. You can tell who's been drinking. Fellas, fellas, wow. fellas, yo. Welcome to another episode of the Uncommon Bond. Our podcast we're about to represent right now. The feedback, fellas, have been awesome with the with the name change. You know what I'm saying? From the mature ejaculation, you know, podcast. Let me hear another splash, AG. Uh, that was the last splash that we're gonna have. Last splash. <laughs> and Gift of Gab wasn't here last week. Right. You know, he was on the road. Give so, well, tell the yeah, truth. Explain to him. You know, I'm, I'm in the back of the class and I got a little lost. You know, I went yeah. looking for you guys. I couldn't find you. Logged on to the wrong yeah. Zoom. You know what I'm saying? Like, where y'all at? Looking for my well, looking for my homies. Where y'all at? Y'all, y'all don't tell Come me. Oh, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I was doing one for my homie. <laughs> I was drinking a 40 for my homies. But I'm glad I found y'all. Thank y'all for waiting for me. For sure, for sure. Yo, today's show, very excited, man. We're going to talk about- you eating on the show, man? What's up with you? <laughs> Hello, Ice, that's all. Yo, we touching Dante Wright topic today. It's been a hot topic in the news. Um, we're going to touch on something that we've touched on in the past regarding, you know, um, the relationship between men and women and what should the man do, women do in regards to finances. Because the game recently came out with something that we kind of want to, you know, discuss further. And then we want to kind of talk about, you know what I'm saying, uh, what grinds, what grinds you for the week, what annoyed you this week, something that just kind of like, Irritated, you got under your skin a little bit. Music make you lose so. Oh, oh, oh! Uh-huh. All right, so we're gonna start a little bit. We're gonna talk about, you know, what I'm saying. I see my man G Gorgeous already sipping. So let's 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 start with that right now. You know, what I'm saying G Gorgeous, uh-huh. what you sipping on, man? Yo, G Gorgeous, let me tell you, I'm kind of glad you went back to wine. That's what it looked like because <laughs> a couple shows ago, bro, when you drink the hard stuff, you different. Oh, yes. right. yeah, super you're different. different. I'm just saying you're different. So I mean, we don't. I mean, we don't mind the different. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> okay, we mind the different. So, go. Just what you sipping on, brother? But well, I'm gonna put y'all up on something, man. When you pull that Riesling out, that's whoa. You know what I'm saying to you? Y'all know. I I stay with the Riesling, protect that liver, because that's whoa. Nice, mm. nice. Ring, my man R and B Reezy. Yo, where the glasses at, bro? Put it on for one time for the fans. Sure, like Clark Kent, you recognize. Put it Don't on let him one go. time. There Never you go. go full drizzy. My man, R and B Ring. What you sipping on over there, man? You settling? You settling for the kettle? Oh no. Oh, Are you with Tito Puente? You t- oh, you Tito Puente. <laughs> Call me Papito Tito. You <laughs> Tito. <laughs> I mean, KID represent and give what up, kid? What up, kids? What up, kid? What you sipping on over there, big homie? Humble, the humble entertainer. Thank you, Green, for plugging my people suavemente. Besame. Yo, let me tell you something. Yo, give. Yo, you got mad love for speaking as Espanol last week. So bro. I think you need to go a little bit in, a little bit out. What's up? Talk to us, bro. Hola, hola, mi gente. Soy yo, el regalo. Gift the gab back at you. Um, <clears throat> today I'm celebrating life, man. We lost another one. So I figure I'll pop a bottle of some of this Bel Air gold. And you know, I realized life is way too short, way too delicate. I'm shooting my shots, Bel Air gold. You know what it is. You know how we doing it. We ain't wasting no more time. Yeah. I'm sitting on this, celebrating. And I might chase this What You know how I do R-A-N's, chase liquor with more liquor. Nice. My man. Yo, straight work. Hashtag straight work. Yeah. Hashtag Washington football Red team. Skins. Because I can't oh, yeah. say Redskins. Oh, yeah. I can't say Redskins. Washington football team. So let me just say, my man, of course, got to oh, hashtag to late to the meetings that he put together. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no. hashtag, hashtag <laughs> green for FaceTiming us, but he didn't join. So let me just say that. Hey, hashtag, my booty call. Hashtag, <laughs> yo, my man, bottom shizf, what you dripping on, baby? So 
I'm drinking water this week because there's a reason. That nigga. I had <laughs> I had uh, some surgery, and they told me I couldn't drink for seven days. I'm just gonna give you a piece of what I what happened. Uh, I had an uh, anaworm dis procedure. You said a penile implant? No, I said anaworm dis. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anaworm dis. Okay. Anaworm to me. So, I, I, have, I, I, I never heard of that before. So please explain. So the anaworm dis basically is that they chop it up in sections. So it's an anaconda turned into a worm. So it's a penile reduction. <laughs> and that's why I'm drinking water this week because I can't drink liquor seven days. Yo, 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 Steph, all they Steph, all they did was put rings on mine. So they did I, I just went with the rings. They just put rings on yo, mine. So <laughs> that was a good one right there, boy. <laughs> My don't want unless you got it. Uh. <laughs> so all my fellas out there, if you need that and a worm, this Dr. Yo. Cisco, he does it great. And I can't drink <laughs> for seven days. I'm drinking his water. Is it local or general anesthesia? <laughs> you have to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yo, y'all are is great. Else, man. I'm able to wear jeans now. I can wear the same type of pants that Mike wears. Okay. Everything is good. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. My man, my man. Yo, as for me, I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking some Bacardi, old school John. You know what I'm saying? Mixed it with that oh, man, Peach man. Punch. So it's been an off week for you. You ain't get paid till next week. Yeah, next week I get paid, <laughs> brother. Yeah, I, yo, you know what I figured? I figured bottom shelf was drinking. So I just figured I'll just take something that he will be drinking. Wait, wait, wait. Bottom yeah. chef, what's that? Right wait, 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 wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Is that apple juice? Oh, peach. Okay, well, okay, okay. All right, all right. We want to make sure. I was you, ready. We want to make sure you're healthy. That's all. We want to make sure you're healthy. Oh, my God. All right, man. So, I, first of all, my man, you yeah. know, G. Gorgeous mentioned something in his little introduction to the to the drink, you know, we, we lost another fallen soldier, probably, I don't know, a couple hours ago, you know, Black Rob, this is, it, it's, it really hits home because this is the second week we're doing this show that, you know, somebody that we grew up listening to, you know, passed away. So I know my man, bottom shelf, I generally, you know, you generally have some stories to tell, you know what I mean, when you were, <laughs> In your, in your past life. So you got any stories to tell about Black Rizzop? Yo, first of all, rest in peace to my man, Black Rizzop. I first met Black Rob, damn, what's the year? Uh, 2000, so probably like 202, 203, whatever. But we met in Club Speed. If y'all, New York City, y'all already know what time it is, Club Speed. I was working for an establishment in fashion and they had kind of cut off the top floor with the pillows and the little lounge. So we had that locked down and Black Rob was in the spot. So, you know what I mean? He came upstairs, we chopped it up. We took a picture that night. Back in the day, he used to wear the, you know, you wear the reflectors and all that. So he basically made me disappear in the picture. <laughs> you can't really even see me cause he got reflectors on his jacket and I going on like some Hawaiian Sophie. Remember the silk Hawaiian shirts. But anyway, we chopped it up. And statute of limitations have passed, but long story short, I had the ability to help him get some leathers for a small exchange. And a couple of days later, we met at the spot and, you know, I allowed him to get into some fitting rooms and, you know, things happen. And then, you know, from time to time, he would hit me up and allow me to get into a couple of little shows and things of that nature. But that was it. You know what I mean? It was a it was a cool relationship, wasn't a friendship, but it was dope for the for the time being. You know what I mean? I felt like a, a little celebrity. You know what I mean? Coming in the spot and all that, but that's it. You know what I mean? But rest in peace for sure. And, oh, and y'all already know. I'm gonna let Reem speak on that. Y'all music, y'all speak on that. Whoa, because when that whoa dropped, that's still top ten. Oh, it's still, it's still whoa. It's still whoa. It's still whoa. whoa. It's still whoa. whoa. Yeah. Hip hop anthem, of club whoa. banger, club club banger. banger. He bag it, then flip it like whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I had fish and spaghetti. I just want to say I had fish and spaghetti today. 
Ooh. Rest, in, rest in peace to, to Black Rob. I was already on fish and spaghetti. I was deep oh, death, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> My joint was always gonna be uh, Can I Live? He was on that with the locks. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that was my song. Can no, I live? Uh, Wait, wasn't Black Rob on that song with G Dep? He, he was the one that started the. He was the one that was um. He said the Rottweiler part. The Rottweiler. Rottweiler. Okay, my bad, my bad. I know, I know it's bad boy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> rest, in peace to the, rest in peace to the kid, though. Rest in peace. But well, yo, man, I want to segue to another important topic that has surfaced throughout the course of the past week, couple of weeks, you know, Dante Wright, you know, a uh, young dude, 20 years old in Minneapolis, you know, he was gunned down by a lady cop, you know, uh, Caucasian. So let me mention that in the mix. So, you know, that's a hot topic and I, I want to address it on our show because, um, it's being addressed everywhere. So I figured why not us to talk a little bit about that topic. So my man, I want to, I want to start with you, man. You know, I want to start with you, Steph. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know you, you are always very vocal in regarding to, you know, the things that happen to our culture and so on a couple of shows ago, you got emotional talking about, you know, a specific topic. So I just want to start with you and what's your take on this? Because I think personally, I think this show is going to take on a lot of, um, you know, opinions. And, you know, I just want to open up with you and, and, and kind of like get your view on it. I mean, I, you know, we could I could bore you to death with all the details, but I'm not because the the story just replays itself. There's so many this, that's there's the third. To me, it's plain and simple. Another black man is murdered. Another father is gone. A one year old girl doesn't have a father Ooh. because because a cop decided they were gonna take somebody's life. I don't wanna hear the bullshit excuse. Is if you've been a policeman for 20 plus years and you don't know the difference in color or in weight between your taser and your firearm, then what are you doing? So I'm gonna ask an educator, Mike, if you go to the shelf blindfolded and you pick up a workbook, do you think it's a textbook? No, you don't. It, so depends, there's no on, it depends on the weight of that book I pick up. Man, it doesn't matter. It yes, doesn't it matter. 100% matter, matter, bro. And Miss Potter- It depends on murderer. the weight. It depends on the weight of that book I picked up. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Because a workbook is soft shell. And a textbook is hard shell. And there's your difference right there. Bro, yo, let me tell you something. Okay, what, what are we... And, and, and I wanted to go around the room before I get a little opinionated with my topic. But like, what are we focused on? We focus on a person who, who died or we focus on a person who did the killing? We, we focused because on... Justice for the person who died. No, 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 no. But, but yo, are we focused on the person who died or are we focused on the person who did the shooting? Focus how many murderers, person. how many murderers get to go resign and go home and sleep at night? So let you me ask you me that. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you, I mean, uh -huh. you can chime in. You can chime in, Reem. Let me ask you a question. If if that happened to be a Spanish per person who pulled that trigger, black person who pulled the trigger. Would we still have the same premonitions that oh, yeah. vibe? I said, I said cop. I don't care about her color. Yeah, I never crazy. said white oh, cop. So, so if it was a black cop, we wouldn't have this conversation. Hell yeah, we would. Because it's a cop. We would. Oh, that's we're, her, we're, that's we're, his we're, fucking we're, job. But wait a minute. But well, wait a minute. All right. So we're talking about the fact that it was a cop who did the killer. Yes. Right. We we so so unlike the society, the world that we live in, right? We're focus on the color. We're focusing on the color, blue, police, <laughs> police. Yeah, Come on, let's be honest, not, right? That's so not we're back, we back in Minnesota. Focus. We're back in Minnesota doing this all over again? All over again. Bro, let me ask you a question. And, uh, well, first of all, let me just say, yo, gorgeous. Let, let me ask you a question. You know, I don't know if you guys read in depth about it, but I did, and it said that Dude got out of the car. He had a warrant. He had warrants. Oh. Okay. And when he got out the car, he decided to run back in the car. 
Okay. I mean, as a trained cop, I would probably shoot him too. That's stupid. She said she went for her. Why would he run back in the car? That's stupid. Why are you going to shoot somebody because they ran? You know how many times I didn't ran from the police? But <laughs> yeah, like, well, you ran from the police, not when the police had you in front of you. Yeah, I did. I've done it, and I'm being honest with you. Running from the cops is not putting the cops in danger. You are supposed to be able to deal with why would you, a why lot would of situations. Gorgeous, let me ask you. Go oh, ahead, Reed, go ahead, I'm going to go real quick. Go ahead, talk, go quick. Go ahead, talk to me. Cops are supposed to protect and serve. Yeah. So you are not supposed to be, yo, if you're a coward, you shouldn't be a cop. If they, if yeah. you're gonna work for FedEx- You might as well get rid of the whole force if, now. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're gonna run, you know, why would you run? Why are you Hold running? on, if you're working for FedEx, they ask you, are you capable of lifting 40 pounds and up, right? They need to start asking cops, do you have the heart to deal with certain situations? Because if you pussy, you are gonna draw for your gun anytime a situation occurs. That man yes. running, that man running in his car was wrong, but it doesn't warrant gun pulling. I, listen, I agree. I agree with you there. But I want to hear, yo, gorgeous, talk to me about it. What, what you what you think about this this issue? All right. Listen to me. Let, let, let me get one part of it out of the way first before I get hanged. Like this, he she he shouldn't have been shot. And I'm trying to say to you, I wish he wasn't shot. I agree with you. So you know what I'm saying? And I do believe that regardless what the circumstances, she she do needs to be held accountable. So I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, I'm siding with her for shooting a, a young black man and then she's home watching TV in retirement. I'm not an saying un, that. An, un, an unarmed black man. I think we Fair always enough. keep that in, in, in uh, No, 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 no. Right. You forget. I know you, I know you said, I know you, I know we're saying unarmed, right? But, and I, and I know we have this Thing about you know if you're being scared don't be a cop but the fact of the matter is i don't care how many years you're on the force every situation got to have you a little scared you know what i'm trying to say to you every pullover every traffic stop every encounter on the street got to somewhat have you a little scared now what i'm as for my i read about it also we talk about a female cop who's encounter a young black man who was now out of his car and he's it was established that he has a warrant so now they're servicing the warrant and you decide to run back to your car, like Reem, Steph, and Gab, you you guys are cops. And you you got, I don't care what color this person is, black, white, Spanish, Puerto Rican, you got this person pulled over for a warrant. And now they 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 fight away from you and run to their car. Are you thinking they're running to their car to drive away? Are you thinking they're running to their car to get a weapon? You don't, at that moment in time, you don't know what you're thinking at that moment. Everything is in the moment. But if he's got no. a warrant, why aren't you just cuffing him? They were cuffing him. He that's he wrestled and, and ran. That's what I'm trying to say to you. He just he ain't wrestled. That was the easiest way to get. Well, him. whatever you want to call it. The he, fact of the matter is, he was he was already apprehended. You're now in the presence of an officer about to be arrested, and you felt the nerve, bro. And then to go back to what you said, Steph. You talk about Manip um, Minneapolis again and again. So if he knows at 20, you ain't a shorty. We're not talking about a 10 year old, even a 10 year old knew what happened in Minnesota. But my point is you 20 years old. Yo, keep yourself calm, bro. And, uh, and honestly, wait, 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 Yes, absolutely. absolutely. I can't agree with you on that. No, nope. I can't agree with you. On so that. you don't think running back to the car is a mistake? No, nope. it's not the same. We're not going to put them in the same category. No, hold on. No. We're not. We're not. We're, yo, we're not trying to put weight on the mistake. I'm not trying to do that because I, I one would, one would lead to death. One would lead to something else. Yeah, but I'm just generalizing asking you. the word mistake will, is like you. You're kind of like you're negating the fact that one mistake, like you said, led to someone's death. And the other mistake led to someone being jobless. They could work as a security guard next week somewhere, probably. So you're telling me running running back to your car while you encounter an officer, knowing this officer know you now have a warrant, you decide to run back to your car is not a mistake. Why? It's not, Why it's not, a, it's not a deadly mistake. No, I didn't, no that's, that's not, not a deadly mistake, which is why he's not here. Yo, it is a deadly mistake. Are you sure? Oh, I'm no, like, it's not. It's not it a is a deadly mistake. mistake. Is it clear like is it clearly a deadly mistake in the two thousand? 
in like not even into in, in this century is a deadly mistake. Like we all know this. Like we teach our sons. I got two sons. You think I'm like I got two sons, like yep. eight nephews. This is the conversation I have with them. Like, yep. yo, you, you're not doing this. We're not going to do this. We're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not, we already know what it leads, like, it yes. has to be lead to. So I don't, and that's care, what I, I don't care what, I don't care what, you comply, whatever. Yep. Like, look, I'm not, like, I can understand, I'm, I'm, I'm the most, um, most, Machismo. Like, that too, but, <laughs> but like, <laughs> unconfrontational person, yep. but at the same time, I want to be, I want to be unapologetic. So I understand yep. my people's being unapologetic and, and, and fighting for their rights, but yep. we know where we are. If you know yep. what you are, bro, like, come on, like, you know what it is, regardless, play along. Like, it's and, and, a game, and Gap, play and along Gap. with the rules. Like, yeah, and Gap, I, don't, I don't like the rules neither. I don't right. like these rules, but I gotta, and, I wanna live, I gotta play along. Absolutely, and Steph and Reem, don't get me wrong, the rules are unfair. They're stacked against us. We're not having that argument. What I'm trying to say, I got a son too, and I'm telling them wrong, right, or indifferent. If you get pulled over, my friend, you just be as calm and collective. I promise you, I got you on the lawyer side, but you cannot now start being frantic and carry on. We don't need a reason for them to shoot us. They're already looking for one, so don't give them one. But what does That's that what have I'm to saying. do with the fact that this lady shot this young man? What, like, you're telling me, like, you're literally telling me that if you act irate, you're gonna get shot by the cops. Is it Reem, like, Reem, that, Reem, that, Reem, that, that Reem. doesn't sound crazy. Reem, like, it's not hold on, they literally have training to deal with these kind of people. Like they you think this is the first like you criminals or people that they apprehend, they know that it's not gonna be the easiest takedown. So you better believe that in a if there's six months of training that they have training on how to de-escalate, how to deal with these situations and what to do. Drawing for your gun is the very last resort. They are not following their Training. She wouldn't have got fired. Oh, she wouldn't have got fired had she followed protocol. She but wouldn't have got not focused on what the person did. Well, he he would have not died Mike, if she followed on, protocol hold on, hold on. neither. Mike, Mike, are you kidding me? You are you have a position. Are you telling me that you if you're in a situation with your position that you're in, right? Who's more wrong if both of you guys decide to go left? You are. Why? Why? Because you're the professional. If I a parent get that. I to get go that. But we cannot. That's it. Okay, I, and I totally get it. it. I, I bet you we're there. But what I'm saying is, we are not sitting back and thinking about the other person did. We're trying to figure out what the obviously what the cop did in this situation. But what did the person do? Are we going to ignore what the person did? Yes, I am. Yeah. Why would we ignore it? Because I just said Stand it in here. I just He's said standing it. Standing at this man in, in the car, close range, and shoots him. Okay. Where's, what about his legs? What about well, other body? You guys a question. Yo, yo, Steph, let me ask you a question. You get pulled over knowing what you know about life and what's going on in the world today. How are you acting when you get pulled over? The difference is like number saint. one. I don't have any prior situations. Okay. Where I don't okay. want to return to. Right? Okay. And the pre-existing factors are if this young man spent even one day in jail before. I'm talking about you. What yeah, would you but listen to what I'm home? telling you. I don't have that fear. One, two, I have him by 20 plus years. I'm in a different state That's of mind right now. Right. If you ask me at 20 years old, Stop. if I'm running, I'm running. That's a fact. I'm running. For what right. reason? Why? Because I'm scared. Because I'm fucking scared. Because I'm black and I'm getting pulled over by a cop and I'm so scared. Steph, Steph, no, Steph, Steph, Steph. Steph. no, to this day, to this day, when I'm pulled over and I'm not doing nothing wrong, my so heart scared. starts racing. So okay. And if my and daughter's in the car, and if my daughter's in the car, you know what she does, Mike? She cries. I get that. she knows. So why would you ever drive off? No, because we're living in fear and that's not fucking right. We shouldn't have to live in fear from the people that protect us. They're supposed That's to be protecting right. us, bro. We okay. can't look at what- We're living in fear. Okay, so let me ask you a question. 
If you run, if you run back in your car, if you drive off, what am I thinking as a cop? Train and all that. What am I thinking? I don't give a fuck what you okay, think. You don't, don't kill me. Don't fucking it's kill me. You gotta you don't give a fuck. You gotta think you don't think fucking about. sign up. Nah. Yeah, that's well, in, their, in their fucking training, do they tell them the minute they run, kill them? No, nope. they nope. don't. So, nope. so, so don't you fucking run, sign so up. Run and so, so, what so, does that so step, step. Wait, 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 listen, for step, 20 step. plus years, for 20 plus years, this bitch was on the fucking streets doing her police work. She ain't never been in a situation like that where she don't have no other choice. And on top of that, her excuse is lame. I reached for my taser and I got my gun. And After 20 plus that. years, I don't give a fuck what he did. If he didn't pull out a gun, he don't deserve to be shot. Period. So, so, so Steph, I, 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 I get all your points and I'm, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with them. In the background. What I'm saying to you is this, Steph, if, if you're a cop, right? And you, pull, and you pulled over someone. Now you have them out of the car because you've run their plates or license and they got a warrant, right? Now you're confronting said person and in the midst of letting this person know you listen to God, you got a warrant, some have to take you in and all that good stuff. This person then decides to jet back into his car. What are you going to do? I have Thank no you. idea and I'm going to tell you why. Oh, Thank no, that, that's it. Steph, stop. Right. You, said you, you have no idea. You're right. Because in that, in that in moment, heart, Steph. In my heart right, of hearts, right. I could never sign up for that job. I know cops and I'm not saying all cops are blah, blah, blah. What right. I'm saying is in my heart, that was a job that I know I would not be able to do properly. Because of what reason? Because I don't have that type of metal to, to make a decision on if a person should live or die and have that in my hand so every you know, day. So you saying on that? A daily, you, on a daily basis. You saying that speaks volumes. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It says, it says it speaks volumes because it says that I'm responsible. You know that you could potentially do that. I'm responsible enough to know what I can and cannot do. On a daily basis, a police officer has in his hand the power to end life yes. or allow life to continue. And right. if you're not ready for that responsibility, right. do not go and become a police look, officer. Look, 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 look. Period. I believe, I believe. A couple shows ago, we had a conversation about how emotions run, take the best of us, right? When you you in a you in a car with your shorty and somebody cuts you off and she protects you or whatever the case may be and we talked about emotions and MC the biggest emotion is fear feel me so if the biggest emotion is fear so then tell me why why is it that I'm not again listen I'm saying this right now no one should have died in a case yep. like this I am not supporting death and I'm not saying that somebody should have been shot. But my point in saying this is that if you're pulled over, if I'm pulled over and I'm detained or whatever the case may be, running in my car tells me, tells the person something. And you don't know what I'm going for. This, this is how I'm, I'm going to drive no, off. Am I going to end in it. to get something? You don't know that. This is how I'm going to end it. Nah, Without right. even saying any true names and anything. But we all know the movie Fruitville Station. And that young man was apprehended and on his back. And he got shot any fucking way. So why the fuck wouldn't I run? In cuffs. <laughs> Once again. No, nah, but, nah, but listen to me. Because, you know, he, this touch up core image is fine. And again. This this kid should have been shot. He should have been in a position in the first place. But I'm telling you, man, when when you're in a position where fear is completely surrounded, it you don't you don't know what your reaction gonna be. And I know cops, good ones and bad ones. And I'm telling you, their their ultimate goal at every given beat is they want to make it home mm -hmm. back to their families, right? And if you do something that's even quote unquote remotely looks like it's you against them, you know what they're gonna choose. But I, I think what I think the I think the point that y'all are missing when you okay. guys speak on like that common logic, you guys are missing the fact that there are like black and white does play a role. You understand what I'm saying? Like you could try to ignore it all you want, but there's a truth here, you know. 
there's millions of videos of the, the present moment where there's white men that are doing the most in a video, running away, ramming their cars into cop cars, doing all those things, and they're not being killed. Not it all. is a fact. There are, there are white young men that are creating a lot of mass shootings, and they are not going out the way that the unarmed black men is going out. So if you ignore, if you want to ignore it, go for it. That's your prerogative. But okay. there's a fact out here. True. That I, me personally, I don't believe 100% that that was an honest mistake on her end. I believe that there's a chance that she used Taser Taser as an alibi so she can fucking kill that man in cold blood. I believe that. There's a strong chance that that happened. Derek Chauvin, he, you see him sitting on George Floyd's neck, kneeling on his neck. Like, we can't ignore these things. Cops are supposed to be cops. Like, cops are, like, what do you see? A, and I'm going to end it because I don't want to get long-winded. But when you go to a club and a security guard is going hand, and, and a big melee jumps out, the security guard is not like, yo, it's time to kill. And they have their armed security. They have guns. They don't like, yo, it's time to kill. It's time to kill. You know what they're thinking? how to de-escalate this situation. Cops are supposed to learn how to de-escalate. You guys are professionals. At the end of the day, you guys go to work. You go, if you if you go to the, whatever you guys do for a living, if the parents curse y'all out, y'all not gonna be sitting there cursing back at the parents. If the parents is running for something, y'all, are y'all gonna run for y'all gun or y'all gonna run from the situation? No. What I'm saying is like, I hold it real quick. So like, if you've been in, in any profession for 20 plus years, you already know what it is. Like, you know what to do. Like, we've been in our professions for 20 plus years. And we never, like at this point of our, in our career, we will never overreact. You feel me? Like, so that was an overreaction. Like if you 20 plus years, you would know, like you would do your due diligence before you do anything. No, no, like, you know what you know. No, wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because if she, if she, if she, hold on. I'm just gonna say this. I don't know. I mean, I understand street. Yo, she's a street bureaucrat. That's what we call. They're called street bureaucrats. Police, firefighters, teachers. We are we're street level bureaucrats. Okay, we at the street level, so we understand how to. We understand procedures. Do we so understand? I, yeah, we do. Do we understand? Twenty, 20 no, years. Do we understand? Did you see the lieutenant in Virginia? Twenty years in any game in Virginia. That man, twenty years, man, years that in the game went of like education. This. He went like this. Oh, twenty years in the world like of education, bro. And I don't know if I will ever lose it on somebody. Because no, 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 no. no. But you, done. but you, you would always know. know you would always know to protect yourself, right? So no, hold on. Let me no, let me say this. You, hold on. Let me let me you let me speak. Are mistaken quiet. emotions, man. I was being you guys quiet, bro. Are mistaken emotions. Emotions nah. matter, bro. No, nah. no, it doesn't. No. I don't take my emotions to work, bro. My emotions right and my profession are two separate things. I never want to hear say, yo, I did this because I was mad. Oh, I Hold on, let I me know. I don't, I don't think you're going to shoot somebody. I don't, kill them. my emotions don't, I don't take my emotions to work with me. What I'm saying is this. I like, do. You, you always protect yourself. You're supposed to protect yourself, right? So your first, your first line of defense is not to put, like, I don't care what street level you are, you're going to call, you need people with you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my first defense always. Like I'm calling, I'm calling for somebody else to come see this with me so that we can assess the situation together. And if she if she did a due diligence and see that this man wasn't really threatening, whatever, whatever um bond or whatever he had, whatever warrant he had, it wasn't it wasn't a freaking threatening uh warrant, right? So, okay, so this man is not threatening, he just failed to appear. Period, right? That's what I heard. Did he fail to appear? He, did he have any violent warrant, like warrant out for his arrest? So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come back violence with this man. If he runs, all right, cool. I, I'm calling. Like we're gonna go follow the chase this man, whatever. Like that's just street level bureaucrats. I'm not jumping the gun. I'm not, I'm not jumping, skipping steps, especially not 20 years in the game. Like there's steps to this yeah. game. Like you know. Yeah, yeah. Wait, if if or just if, speak if, to me, bro. If the if the explanation that Reem just gave a minute ago was correct. Where he said, you know, she knew she was had a gun and she had a taser. Do you realize that this literally happened in a split second? It's it. it it's, no, it it's didn't. A, it's a, no, it didn't. It, it, it didn't. Hold on. Split second. It's, it was re, re, two re, cops there, bro. 
No, the, Reem, I'm talking, Reem, Reem, I'm talking. the one that was right in front of her. I understand. No, hold on. First, Reem, I know the story. She was the one that was dealing first, and she just came over there. I get all that. There you go. What I'm Split saying to you is that when I say split second, I'm talking in a moment where he wrestled and decided to run to his car. That's what I'm talking about. That was a quick moment decision. Now, do you realize how cold and calculated should have to be to grab her gun and yell taser just so she know when she squeezes off and this stuff is replayed later, she cover her own ass? You know how it's cold possible. and calculated she, you have to be to that? Derek Chopin stood on somebody's neck mm -hmm. and they, they died. We're not, we're, we're not talking about that. No, I'm not Listen. talking about the word cold. I'm talking about the phrase cold and calculated. No, that but I, what, read. So you're telling me in that's the moment old boy wrestled away and ran to the car, she thought in that moment, I'm going to yell taser. I'm going to grab my gun. I'm going to kill this brother. Like, I'm going to kill this nigga. So when I'm later on this play out. back, I, they, everybody heard me say taser. I'm going to so kill this nigga. Yeah. Like, I'm going to kill this nigga. Taser, I can't, taser, taser. I don't know. I, I can't believe that, man. This is why I feel the way I feel. Because MC, you asked me as a 40 plus year old man, am I going to run? But <clears throat> we looking at history. And all I'm saying is, this young man was 20 years old. Oscar Grant was 22 in 2009. The cops were, were, were reportedly sent to see about a fight on the train. This officer put him down, face down in the prone position and shot him in the back. So you tell me right now, when you want to live as a black man, you want to lay down oh, but, and comply? Wait, 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 you you want to lay you, down but, but and you, comply, right? or you want to run? But Steph, with you, it's not about, you just said to me 20 minutes ago, it's not about black or white, it's about a cop. Okay. So would you feel, would we be having this conversation if a cop was black? If it was a black, Spanish, blue, green? It happened this cop. week. He was having a, it yes. happened this week. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what the color the cop is. is. If the person was a white. Y'all so niggas making it about black and white. You're bugging. It's like, about, right. You want to know what's wrong, man, MC? Y'all make it about black and white. You want to know it what's is. wrong, MC? We don't. We can't have the conversation, unfortunately, because it's not happening. It's black and white. No. It's black it's and not, white. It's not happening. Okay, it's so not, white. Not so we're happening. focusing on different. See, you got Gab saying it's black or white. It's black and white. Look, so, so if, the, if this was a black cop who was scared for his own life when dude ran. We, you're, you're telling me you wouldn't be having this conversation. I would have the conversation, I but I'm telling so you, I'm just, is, I'm just asking. The situation Jack, Jack is happening. No, I would have the conversation. We would have this conversation. What I'm telling to you, though, I'm not speaking on hypothetical. I'm speaking on facts. The facts are, it's hap It's not happening where we're seeing the a black cop killing a young black man. And if we do see it, we will speak on it. It's about. It's about how they view us in their eyes, bro. And that's just like, you gotta, I don't know if you wanna, but you're running right. from the fact though. The fact is black, white police officers are killing young black men. Yes, they are. What are the young yeah. black men doing? They're being talking? black, nigga. Like that's what they are, that's what they're doing. Being black. So, so, <laughs> so, so, so wait, 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 wait. Black. hold on. So Stefan Reem, y'all telling me that old boy running back to his car was a good idea. It doesn't matter. It was a good it doesn't idea. matter, man. Why you no, keep on saying it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. So, I guess it was oh, a so great wait, idea. Wait, wait. Right, Greg? If he listens to you, if Oscar Grant was your son, he would right. listen to you well, and comply I mean, and went down, face down Steph, on the Steph, floor. Steph, Steph, Steph. Honestly, Steph, shot in the back. Steph, Steph I, think you, I think you're bundling everything into one situation. Because I'm tired of hearing no, the same narrative. I, hear you, no, I not hear you, but I think you're bundling... You listen to me. I think you're bundling every situation in, into one situation like they're all the same thing. So let's think, bro, I want to stick to this situation. Not. Let's not. Too many of, you can't. It's too I many of us to. dead. I want to. The bottom line is running does not warrant killing. It yes. does. Okay. That's it. In this okay, situation. Absolutely. I'm good with that. But that's I why KRS one said what he said. Officer, 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 overseer. Overseer. The overseer used to run the plantation, right? Yeah. Yo, listen, when the honestly, slave got out of line, what did the overseer do? I, honestly, the the he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have got shot. It's a bad situation across the board. I agree. But with they, you. they 
they both made a mistake that night. Oh, they did it, man. Yes, they did. They both made a mistake. No way they no. both made a mistake. That <laughs> man was trying to save himself. Right. It's hard, it's hard what to hear that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That. I, I don't know what he was trying to I understand. Do. I, I know understand what Bud is saying. You're not supposed to get shot from running. That's I understand what G is saying. Like, like it just, it just, he's right in a, in, a, in a sense. He's right. It's just that one mistake caused somebody their life. Yes, absolutely. That's, only That's it. what I'm saying. Right. He's right. They did make a mistake. Everybody made a mistake. Like he he shouldn't have ran. So, like if he had so, a warrant. So, all right. So now that we've had this conversation, right? Now we get to the judicial part, right? Where we're supposed to get justice. What's justice? Shouldn't she be shot? She made a mistake. He died. When when is when does she get home? That's when does fact. she get in the electric chair? When? Because what I hear is I no, retire, I resign, and then and then I get a manslaughter charge, not a murder charge, a manslaughter charge. Steph, with let me ask you a question. Max, ten if, year let me, max. Let me ask you a question. Come on. Let me ask you a question. Come on. If, if me and you in a beef, right? And I punch you in your in, in your I punch you in your gut and you turn around and stab me. Right? Are we saying that what I did was less of an issue than what you did to me? No, but what I am saying is if you punch me in my face, right? Okay. And I'm a cop. I can't do that shit to you. That's, That's it. Bro. That's I'm, my job, That's my fact. job, right? If you I'm working that, with yo, children, yo, no. If yo. we all work with youths, and if a youth spit in my face, I don't get to spit in his. You might so want you to. Do? You might want to, but you what not. Do you do? Okay, okay. What I gotta wipe that shit off. Wait, wait, really? Wait, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. It sounds hey, good. It sounds it good, bro. It, it sounds good. Wait, wait. On. It sounds I've good. I've been spit on. You are saying you sound it's really great. It sounds good. I've been spit on. Nah, it's happened to me too. I've been but, spit on. I've been, been spit on. I've been stabbed with pencils. I've been threatened. I've been kicked. I've been the whole nine yards. Yeah, we understand that. Go just what's up, man? Wrap us up, go just. Honestly, I, I'm gonna yeah, I'm, I'm say this, guy. Listen, it up, I, I me. it's it's a touchy subject. I get it because there's a lot of history behind it, right? But what I'm saying to you is this: the biggest factor in this whole situation is fear. The cop is is as just as scared as the young black kid was of the cop. No they way. both. Uh, listen to me. I'm mean, <laughs> not gonna agree, but I'm telling no you, way. I'm not. Yo, I know you're All not right, going to agree. I'm sorry. I won't do I know that. you're not going to agree. But what I'm saying to you is they both, in some sense, shape, or form, had the, the factor of fear playing on their emotions right then and there, right? And I'm telling you, as a young Black kid, he sees a cop like, this This lady is probably going to take my life. I'm going a, I'm to a book it. That's his thought, right? And her thought is, this young Black kid is about to get in this car, reach whatever he got in there, and she's going to turn around and try to shoot at me. So everyone at that moment is trying to do the best for themselves in said situation. Again, it's not right. It's not fair. It's, it hurts like hell because we've seen it 10 different times. But honestly, guys, on that night, both both parties made, 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 made a bad decision. A gra made a grave mistake. They made, made a, a bad decision. It's, just, it's uh, just sad that it cost this kid his life. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. We're going to wrap this segment up, man. I don't agree. Fuck we could go... We could go all night with this joint, man, but uh, we're going to lighten the load a little bit, you know what I'm saying, and talk, talk about, you know, the game came out, and I got to say, he agreed with my man G, gorgeous. You know. You know, with a little, <laughs> with, in regards to I want to you to how, read the exact um, quote that G, gorgeous posted, so you could. You mean the game? What we're talking about. No, G, gorgeous put it in there, though. Okay. So read the exact one. Well, you Mike, you got it? I'll read it. Yeah. Oh, well, G. Gorgeous, you can read it. I mean, you, since you said it, we, you can read it. Uh, hold up. Hold on. The they, they, they stay in the same shit. Let's yeah, because, <laughs> listen, I... We're I want right, to read it. All right. I want to read it. Oh, go ahead. Hit, hit, go ahead. Read it, brother. Appreciate you. I want to read it. Go ahead, Ray. All right. Let me read it real quick. Here we go. They go to fuckery, top, sound fuckery, fuckery. All right. <laughs> Here we go. And hey, by the way, I'm the one who poured that. I'm the one who found that. You're, you're lucky know. enough, right? You are lucky enough to land an independent woman who works her ass off and still comes home to cook, clean, take care of the kids, and go crazy sexually. Let her stack what she make in case y'all need it one day and still handle everything as a man. Wait, that's game or gorgeous? 
That's game. Oh, snap. Game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So <laughs> gorgeous posted that from game. That sounds like gorgeous, though. But that's that gorgeous. Said. That's gorgeous. Budget. That's gorgeous. His opinion. Certified G. So, so get the gap. Open us up, man. What you think about that? I don't got no look. I ain't got no qualms with that. That's it. <laughs> splash. <laughs> so, so, so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. You, feel, you straight feel like your wife's paper is her paper, and you take care of everything else. Listen, Listen I, I know. So, so when I speak, I, I know people think I'm a little out there. Or as my man Reed would say, I'm putting on, I'm flexing. Full of shit. That's no, <laughs> let me explain. Let's, let's be clear on something. Right? If 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 I'm out here getting this bag, right? I am not coming home to my woman and say, "Hey, baby, which bill you paying? You you gonna pay the light? You gonna pay the water? <laughs> or or what, what you wanna do? Are you buy groceries this week? I buy groceries next week. I'm coming home like, listen to me. Take care of all that." Put the bill on my, my, on my on my table, and whatever you make, you you put that in an account somewhere. Let it build. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Because again, I'm trying to explain something to you guys. I'm 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 not trying to go into this whole class society. We got upper class, middle class. But what I'm saying is, honestly, real talk. When you bring in that bag home, you're not coming home trying to dissect who takes care of what and who pays for what. You're just coming home, put the bag down, say, listen to me, ha take care of everything. And if there's anything extra, put in that account, whatever you make, stack it. I, I'm 100% for that. I'm not mad at that. You, you know what I get from this? <laughs> I'm not mad at you're, that. He says, if you're lucky enough right. to yeah. land an independent woman. Yep. That's a fact. Greg, do you realize Talk to me. how, like, like, that's demeaning, like, do you realize how much you are putting down a woman when you believe that it is very rare to <laughs> find an independent woman in this day and age? My God, like, is a unicorn. <laughs> like, do you hear what, like, what you guys are defending? You are lucky enough if you find an independent woman that goes out and makes her own money. That is insane. We are in, like, we are in an era where women have evolved. So women, guess what? They can, you have women, you got women CEOs, women principals, you got women, uh, we have a woman vice president. So why am I not to look at my woman as my better half, as my equal, as opposed to looking at her as I need to take care of you? Cause whatever, <laughs> yeah, cause whenever you decide to make your own money, whenever you decide to work, you get to keep it because that money is so insignificant to what we are building here because we're not building. I'm building and you're along with the ride. <laughs> that is some demeaning shit <laughs> that you have that you're like even Dream. like supporting. Dream. Bro, Dream. I'm so being let me finish. The fact that you even think that you're the one that this is your household and not your like not together, y'all not one, like not ours, it's your, it's mine. So the bills come in, I'm taking care of it. The, this comes in, I'll take, yo, take your little money and you stack it up over there. <laughs> and then we, and one day we'll, one day we'll Reem, use, Reem, we'll use Reem, it one day. Reem, 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 let me tell you something. Not okay, you, 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 your arms must be long as fuck cause you reach it. No. What I'm trying to say to you, guns, Reem, first of all, I'm not trying to demean her or put down a woman. You know what I'm trying to say to you? you I, respect, I respect a woman that's out here getting her own, taking care of her own business all and all that good stuff. What I'm saying to you is this. If I meet a I woman... To, to. No, I'm not saying that either. Again, we're talking about a, a respectable man who believes that it's my job to protect and provide. What that means to me is this. If you are been under the umbrella of what we call our family or whatever we, we, we call it, what I'm saying is I am going to go out, I'm going to put the work in, and I'm going to make sure that everything that this house or this family requires, I could personally take care of it. Now, I'm not saying that money that you make is little or insignificant. What, and I've said this before on last week's show. I said the money that you make, I want you to do me a huge favor. I want you to stack as much as it as you possibly can. So if and when at some point emergency fund. I, I run into a wall, 
and now I'm flat on my back. You could now reach in and pick me up and say, baby, we ain't going to skip a beat because yeah, yeah, I got I, you. I, I, I'm I'm gonna gonna say say real quick. Real quick, real quick. Let me finish, and I'm going to just say this. Me personally, my personal opinion, I don't want a woman that's okay with me dictating what she could do with her money, meaning like she, she doesn't have to take care of it. I want a woman that says, this is our home and I'm not just going to sit here and wait for you to take care of our home. I'm going to do, I'm doing my part. You do your part. We take care of our home together. Financially, we do it together. So when, when it comes time to put down pavers, it's not about, well, babe, we got to put down the pavers. So I'm going to show you the bill. I want a woman that doesn't feel that that had that feels kind of less than when she's saying like, "Here, babe, this is what we got to do for the like." I want a woman that's like, "Nigga, listen, the the land, the um, the the contract that came by, this is what it is. So look, I think we could pull this off. This is what I have. This is what you have. Let's come together. Not, oh, can we? You think we could do it? And then you're like, ah, <laughs> well, I I'll let you know, babe. I'll let you know by next week because you know the business was kind of slow this week, like." We ain't doing that. We're doing this together. I think it's degrading. I think it's old school of you to think that way. And I think <laughs> that you need to evolve into the new millennium where you see that women are on our level and probably so, 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 evolve into the next level. Oh, that. Reeves, so you're trying to tell me because I come home and I bring home the bag, which is more than enough to cover all my family's needs, my woman, my woman feels insignificant. You make you you make it seem as as she is insignificant because you don't need her. Oh no, brother! You should want oh, her. Oh, you oh. should feel like yo, no, I, this but, is my partner. So yeah, we we both go get the bag. Let's both go get the bag together. Why is Reed, it my bag and I'm taking care of my home? Why, Reed, why first, is it not Reed, our bag? Reed, first, Reed, first of all, Reem, she, number one, she's getting her own bag. That's that, let's get that clear. Hold okay. on. Hold on. Second of all, my brother, she feels empowered. You want to know why? Because she got a young black fine man that is ready to bust his ass to make sure that her fine ass could do what she want, go what she want, buy what she want, do what she want, and look at your ass and say, yeah, my man, my man took care of that. That's not empowered. That's feeling what? entitled. She what? has no, her own. Like, yo, I want... I, my man gave this to me. What do you wait mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Speak. Yo, yo, Gab. Gab, speak to Reem. Reem, Reem, Reem. Oh, Mike, you might. Yeah. Right. What you saying? Reem, I think, I think you might want to know what women want before you, before you be like, this is what I think we should be like. Women don't, I know, I understand. That's great. And like equality, we love it. But like, and, and I understand you, 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 uh, you promote that. You campaign it. And you 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 want it as much as you know many, but like that's not what they want. You know what I'm saying? Like Nigga, let's talk about what they want. I don't know how you know. Because like because like just think just think about our just think about our just think about our DNA how we. Create, I think about the fifties and the forties. I think about that. Yeah, like no, I understand. Like no, yeah, they want to be equal, and that's cool. We can we can be we can operate equally, but like but the but the but the reality is like. They they rely on us. That's why they that's why they grab us. That's that's why your wife chose you. Like she was like, I right, I'm gonna choose this fool because he can provide. She didn't she didn't choose you because you be like, yo, no, we equal. No, she chose you because you can hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Because you're that's, stronger. I don't think that's she true. didn't choose you because Are that you was kidding equal? me, dude. I don't think, you that's think true. yo you think you're yo. Sin, sin, yo. You know, any any and every woman needs a, minute, a man wait like a minute, they, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yo, bottom shelf, talk to me, bro. You got your hands <laughs> over your no. face. Talk to me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting no, back. No, to no, no, no. Listen, the, oh, the yeah. average woman is 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 is, is okay yeah, getting her average back. Woman. Listen, yo, Reeves, let me oh, ask you a question. That's right? dangerous. Do, don't start saying okay, average. Okay, average. okay, that's bad. Do you think do you think women average if given a choice would rather get up? Every day, go to work to come home to put towards a bill that you got to pay. Or you think she would rather have a man that's more than Take capable care of it. to make sure that all her needs are covered? And if she choose to, no, put some the men would rather that too. What the, the fuck? Exactly. No, they don't know. Respecting women that I know, they want 
to be able to do. Look, it. man, that, that's nah, fine. That's man. fine. But see, look, as a mastermind man, you put, you make, you you create that perception. That's cool, Reem. That's cool. You can do it. like you but, paint that picture, bro. That's what. That's why you are the man. Like you don't say you the man because you are the man. No, the man doesn't just mean the man anymore. When we be like, yo, you the man, that doesn't mean you are a male. No, Listen, you the woman, man for a reason. Wife, when my wife buys me a, a bike for Father's Day, I don't want to feel that the only reason why you're able to buy me this bike <laughs> is because I fucking do everything financially. So bitch, you better. No, have, Reem, like, again, I, brother, you're I want to know, like, yo, like, that's not I what we're saying, Reem. A queen Reem. Has, Oh, That's on. not what we're saying, bro. No, yeah, honestly, yeah. you're, you're well, dissecting it, this bad you boy way too far. To buy this? Did, did MC, you my MC, to buy this? Like, MC, MC, here, MC, what man. I'm saying to you, right? <laughs> we have two people in the household. We have two people that has an income, right? Really not. Now, let's, the, the man, fortunately, is in a position to where he could cover the necessities of the home. Is, is sure the woman, that, though? Is the woman in that position as well? Yeah, she, if she could if she wanted to. I'm asking, is, is she in that position? I yes. just said. She okay. is, bro. It, it, she is. Listen to me. Okay. Reem, what she I'm saying to you. Want to be. That's Reem, like, I, I, like, exactly. Hold on, hold on, real Reem. quick, real quick, G. But yes, she is. And every and a lot of women, the women you know, the women I know, are, are, are have all stepped up to be in that position. That's not what they preferred. That's not what they were taught as How do young. you know, bro? Listen, that's listen. not what they were taught as young girls, bro. That's that was not what they were taught. I to my daughters to fucking be with Ladies. you. You make sure that nigga can provide Damn. and take care of the house. Yo, bro, it just, it just, it just DNA. It's just, it, come on, son. Yo, just, you guys, this is where we, we lose it because you're towing a very fine line and that line is sexism. And I'm going to tell you it why. It sounds like it. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> if you read what we just put up, right, the game said, if you're lucky enough to find if any lucky other woman enough. that's going that's to true. cook, no, no, that cook and clean. That's rare. That's cook and, up. Cook, cook and clean, right? So now, as a man, I can't cook and clean. And then, oh, and then, shit, wait, man. and then on top of that, she better do backflips in that bedroom because, oh boy, you know what I mean? Listen, let me tell you, because with that comment came another sexist comment where somebody said, well, if you're doing half on the bills, you're giving half of the pussy. What right. kind of world are we living in? Where, so now with their fucking people for room and board, y'all better wake up. Y'all wrong. Y'all yeah. wrong. Yeah. I can cook. Yeah. I can clean. I can yeah. fuck. Yeah. She Absolutely. can cook. She can clean. She can fuck. Listen, if you give any human being a choice, if you could just relax and chill, or if you want to go out and work all day, any human being would be like, you know what? I'll relax and chill for a little bit. Not Maybe not for the whole lifespan, but they'll do it. Y'all sound crazy. Y'all sound crazy. They, 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 and then you know what's going to happen? You yeah, start every little it, thing, you get mad at her. Right. Yo, Yo, what's no, up with the chicken, you. man? Why the chicken no, ain't got no, no spike here? Yeah, yeah, come no, on. No. You better fuck me right Steph, now. Steph, Don't bring it home nah, the back. Nah, nah. Listen to me. That's Steph a sucker. And, that's a sucker. Oh, oh, that's a sucker. Yeah, yeah. Hold that's on. That's not a R-A-N. We're not going to be listening wait, 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 wait. to the game. Not gorgeous. the game. The game. The game. Wait, 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 wait. What is the game? Go ahead. Go ahead. Gorgeous. First of all, Steph and Reem are in an arm competition. Who could reach the furthest? That's the craziest part. Because y'all reaching like a motherfucker. It's, it's now, hold on. on I'm G Gorgeous, and I'm talking to the ladies. Ladies, listen to me, because I'm, I'm up in the camera. All. Oh, they're hearing me. Listen, listen ladies, be careful. Okay. And I, to I'm, gonna, I'm speaking for upstanding men, respectable upstanding men, Sexy. that have put themselves in a position Sexy. to make a significant income in which they have the ability to cover their entire family <laughs> easily. Now, we want a woman that comes to the table with her own. If we need any form of help, backup advice, monetary, physically, emotionally, we, we need that from you. All I'm saying to you is this. If you're a G gorgeous woman, you have the ability <laughs> to save your income if you would like, if you feel like you want to feel empowered, you want to say, you know what, for the hell of it, I want my money to do something, I'm going to pay a bill, put it on the table. I'll take it if it make you feel better. Because I'm here to make you happy. This is gorgeous. But what I'm saying hey, to you hey, is hey, this. Hey, 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 gorgeous. hey, that money you've been saving up, I don't know what's going on. And, look and great again, again, I am not doing this. I hold on, hold on. Just to be clear, ladies, I am not doing this to control you. 
That's what it sounds like. To, to, to no, make it's you not feel, yes, feel less than, yes, to exactly. make you feel smaller than me. <laughs> Ladies, what I'm saying to you is this. I love and respect you so much you that do. I am willing to make sure that all your needs are satisfied. Okay. G Gorgeous wrapped that segment. 1 800 G Gorgeous. G -Gorgeous. Yo. 1 800 yo. Macho Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. a macho yo. Man. Yo, we about, yo, we're about to wrap this segment up, man. Yo. Y'all cats are hilarious. Yo, M M C Re M C Reeves said that nigga flexing. Yo, go ahead and word. <laughs> yo. yo, but yo, man, I know y'all had, I know y'all had a rough week, as did I. So, I just want to, you know, we like to end our show with discussing any things that annoyed y'all, got under y'all skin. Well, like you had a rough week. <laughs> like my man, good, like my man, um, uh, bottom show said, what grinded your gears, you know, for the week? Anything y'all want to discuss? That's what white people say. Well, yeah, man, I <laughs> what, what, yo, we like white people, man. Stop it. What, what ticked you off? My gears. <laughs> what like ticked you people. off? So, bottom show, I'm gonna start with you, man. Anything this week that you know ruffled your feathers a little bit? Nah, man, I'm gonna tell you why, though. You know what I'm saying? Because this week. My daughter turned 19. Your daughter turned 19. No. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, Naya, my baby. For you know sure. I mean? So 19 years old. So we celebrated that on Wednesday, man. No, you and feel older? Uh, no, actually, you know what? You they, look older. You look me, good. They call me Benjamin, baby. Fina and water. I don't pull them out much, but you know, <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. You know I mean? that's why we be reaching because we got it like that. So we Guns reach, out. you know what I'm saying? The guns out. <laughs> you know what I, mean? guns guns out. Guns out. I just want to say shout out to my man Bino the big shot. This is his t-shirt. Straight work. Happy birthday to your daughter Zay this week. You can hit him up on Instagram, Bino, B-I-N-O, duh, D-A, Big Shot on Instagram. Bino the Big Shot, straight work, ha, pineapples. Nice. My <laughs> oh, man, R&B Rain, what's up, man? I know you had a week, what's up? Talk to us, brother. Yo, I got to tell you, man, I, yo, I saw a picture of um, R&B Reem's daughter, man, nine years old. She's gorgeous, man. I haven't seen her in about a year and a half. You know. I, about, yo, I haven't seen in about a year and a half. Now she, yo, she's a star. She's a certified yo, she, star. Not only that, she got extra, extra, extra pretty, bro. Like, like was, no, 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 but she's she she pretty, she but she's got extra pretty, man. So, but like, damn, she's a triple threat. I mean, thank God she don't look like R and B ring. I just, Woo! I don't want her to look cute. I want her to look cute. You understand what I'm saying? Feel Told you it was ring. How was your week? How was your week, my brother? Um, this week right here, man. This week was a, it was a great week to be quite honest with you. It was a challenging week, but nothing that a brother couldn't overcome. So I thank the grace. I give praise to the Most High for that one. Amen. Um, I got the got the vaccine. the first shot. You okay. Know, shots. Okay. Shots. I'm got the chip. So far, I'm still moving. I got the tip. <laughs> so hopefully, I can get on the train without paying the fare now. You feel me? Happy, happy. But other than that, you know, I'm just here doing what I do and um, yeah. trying to continue to be great and um, just looking forward, to be honest, to a lot of things going on and a lot of hard work. So I'm here. I'm here. Gorgeous. Talk to me, brother. Yo, what's on your hat, big bro? Talk to her. You always wearing hats, man. We don't see the. Uh, what I said, what I said, Reem. Uh, I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> Talk yeah. to her. How's your week, big homie? Yo, my week been good, but there's two words that I heard this week that kind of grind my gears because I, I don't think they should exist. I think it's, it's, it's a facade. And Reem, as a businessman, will know this. And Mike and all you guys, you know, going through life, you're gonna realize that you know you're gonna meet people along the way that in some way, shape, or form kind of mold you to where you at right now, whatever level of success you at. And the two words that grind my gears this week is when someone says that they're self-made, which is bullshit. You know, I'm trying to say to you, there's no one on this God-given earth that's self-made. Someone somewhere had a hand in your success, and I think you saying that you're self-made is a selfish stand to take. And you should never do that. You should respect 
and reach out and acknowledge everyone who had a hand in your success. And I take this moment to thank my man MC for more than one time over and ever has put the battery in my back to have me get up off my ass and do better than I was doing yesterday. And I appreciate that, my brother. My man. I, I, I want to second that, Greg. I mean, gorgeous, because People, I've I've met some great people in the past few months while I started this yeah. business, man. And I'm talking about I met a Jamaican. I met, um, and I said I stress. Yeah, talk to us, talk to us about the business, man. What, what's the um, what's the hashtag? Where can we find you, brother? You can find us on Instagram, uh, jklogistics.com. I mean, jklogistics uh, on IG. You can um, right now we specialize in um, transporting vehicles state to state. But what I, I want to piggyback off of what Gorgeous said, you're right. Although I'm putting in the work, there's people that I've been able to yeah. call. I want to shout them out. Shout out um, my man Steve Wheels on Wheels, my man Trick Trilane, um, Trilane's Transport, my man Knowledge um, Neville's Logistics. I was able to get so much information from these three different brothers, and I was able to form that into one, which is my business. So you're right. Nobody's self-made, man. Stop saying that. You're right. I agree yeah. with you, man. Even if it's advice. You still, you still got a jewel from right. someone, and yep. you applied it to what you're doing. So nice, my I, man, Gift of Gizzy. What's up, man? Talk to us. How's your week, brother? Amazing. You know, you know, <laughs> I don't, I don't stress, bro. I, don't yeah, stress. I hear you, man. Yo, as for me, man, professionally things are going great. Personally, things are going good, man. I'm. Uh oh, what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a good space right now, big homie, man. I, I'm I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm I feel good. I feel healthy. Like Reem, I had the shot what a week, two weeks ago. So I feel a little, you know, confident about that. I'm um, you know, I'm just in a good space right now, man. Mentally, you know, sometimes our mental health is off, you know what I'm saying? So like mentally, I'm good. I'm at a nine out of 10, you know what I'm saying? And like professionally, I'm there preparing the students for, you know, the, the state exam next week. So, you know, um, as always, you know, shout out to my organization, man. We good, man. We we trying to, that that's where the money resides. You feel me? So, <laughs> that's where the money resides. You heard me? So I got to make sure we... We prep these kids for the tennis, you heard? Yo, once again, man, another amazing, amazing Did, did Bottom Shelf go? Amazing. Bottom Shelf, you told me about your week? Bottom Shelf started, oh, yeah, yeah, right. He you told us why he was late to the beat. I want right. to, yo, but Bottom Shelf, man, we lost another comrade with us, man. So take us out for the show, big homie. And he's muted. Uncommon bond. Am I there? I'm not. No, you go, you go, you go, you go. You go. <laughs> I missed the first two words, but you were sleeping. Last episode, you don't see us. No, you know I'll be in that back in the back of the class, back of the class. Yeah. Yeah, another episode of Uncommon Bond Podcast, man. And everything oh. do from this period moving forward is whoa. Not whoa. Mm-hmm. Y'all give me to put y'all up on something, man. Yo, when you see something ill. You know what I mean? That shit is woke. That's woke. Anything ill you see is woke. Uh-huh. Nigga have a big six at the curb. That's woke. Okay. Especially if he got the fully equipped kid on it. The black ribs off your head. Like yo, I had this bad bitch in town. She was woke. Had me fucked up in the head. I mean, woke. Off the fish diamonds and pearls. I mean, woke. Should've seen them shit shining on the wrist. Now money ain't a problem. See my dough is like. Pulled out my bankroll on y'all niggas like. Lost the boot shrimp from two tenth like. Faggy wanna beat my blueprints. I'm like. Had to hit the brakes on y'all niggas like. Niggas getting both on my block like oh. Coming home within a half an hour like oh. Oh. Run like they had the manpower like oh. Oh. More or less, more so I rip it so so I live the fast life Come through in the fall slow like oh. My niggas like dough, like dro, nitro Might flow, nice clothes like oh. East pain with cocaine like whoa. Now I'm Doc Strange in the range like whoa. 100 miles an hour switching lanes like whoa. Plus I'm getting brain from this chick like whoa.